Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, sorry about the delay, but we have some troubles with the Zoom. So now we're here, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. So look at this. Uh, in today's lesson, we're gonna be uh talking about the following objective. So just give me a couple of seconds. Can you see the um, platform, guys? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Now look at this. Our lesson objective for today is um well, we're listening first a conversation about jobs and job requirements. So we're gonna be listening to a conversation about the job. And um, where gerunds and short responses will be used. So um, we'll need for you to take some notes, okay? So you ready for this? Let me see that my camera is kind of way too high. Okay, so look at this. I need a job. So we're going to practice with the following conversation. First, we're going to be listening to this and later we're going to be practicing. Let me check the audio and, okay, perfect. Cool. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job, part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A, listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. 
it says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Listen and... Okay, so guys, uh, what else does the word require? So what do you um, understand about it? So what is another requirement? In order to get... Other language. No other language. The so requirement is to talk is to talk about another language, right? So it could be any language, right? Okay. So now we're gonna be practicing this conversation between let me see Dan and Brad. Look at this. So I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? The door-to-door -door salespersons to sell baby products like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Five, 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 five. So that's an interesting conversation, right? Are you good at selling, guys, by the way? Are you good at selling? Are you good at selling? Yes, no? No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> well, I used to sell. <laughs> but it was kind that. of... Uh -huh. I am. I think I, I am good. You think you are? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I don't either. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. So now we're going to be practicing the conversation. Look at this. We check that again. I'm so broke. It means that he is broken, right? So he has no money. I really need to find a job. I really need to find a job. So do I. So do I. Look at this. So what is the meaning for so do I? So do I. Any idea? It's like I agree. I agree. I agree, right? I agree. Yeah. So do I. Yeah, let me see. Um I got kind of lost. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? The door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. What's a door-to-door -door salesperson? What what is it? I imagine uh someone who goes to house to house to sell something. Mm -hmm. So do you know anybody that do this kind of activity activities, a door-to-door -door salesperson? Or do you know a company who send their employees to do this activity? For example, with the internet connection, there are some guys like set, trying to sell something door to door, um, sales uh people. Like him, like, like um. Mm -hmm. So companies like Claro, I would, I would say. <laughs> I don't. I, um, I what else have you been try to? Well, so what else uh, have you been? try to let's say 
uh, sold. So for example, I've been trying to solve uh, internet, uh, let's say. Telephone. Telephone. Telephones. Okay. Anything face, else? face to face? Mm, no, okay, that's face to face. So, but uh, door to door salesperson is somebody who sells, um, right, in different houses. Or so you go, right, to the place and you try to, well, ask people. But I don't know, I'm not, uh, as I was telling you, I, I don't think I'm good at this. Okay, let's see. Um, To sell baby products. Hey, imagine baby products. So what are some products that people uh, sell door to door? Baby products, what else? I think pizza. Pizza? Okay. <laughs> yes. Pizza, tamales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the I newspaper. Agree. Newspaper, yeah, the newspaper. The... Okay. Um, okay, so let's continue. Like diapers and things. Um, no thanks. And and anyway. Um, what is anyway? Anyway. Como sea. Como sea. Anyway. I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. What do we mean with I am? Well, I am. I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. What do we mean? See? I mean. Yo soy. Mm -hmm. Yo soy. Yeah, I'm good at, right? Yes, I am. I might check that one. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director in a cruise ship. Uh, what is a cruise ship? Cruise ship. Barco crucero. Mm, crucero, okay. Crucero. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. Uh, I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. So what's the phone number? Okay, good. Um, let me see. I don't mind. What's that? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mean to put that. No, that's okay. So if you ask me to go to the moon, I will. No, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, volunteers. We need two volunteers. Dan and Brad. Dan and Brad. Okay, Irma, you're done. So we need somebody else. Carlos Alberto Martinez. Oh, Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Solo que no puede ampliar, por favor. Perdón. No puede ampliar. I don't really think so, but let me check if I find it. Practice. Okay. okay ese es el video. So. Vamos a tratar de abrir el libro. Just give me a couple of seconds. I need a job. I'm going to put up. Es que fíjese que traté de ampliarlo, pero se, se ve borroso. Sí, no se puede porque es el, es el video. Es el video. Ah, pues si quiere alguien que no esté tan ciega como yo. Don't worry, I'm gonna open the book. <laughs> I think it's here. Okay, so just give me some seconds. Oh, voy a tratar, teacher, y, y donde me quede, me ayuda. Okay. Well, let me see. I think I'm gonna get it, okay? I know. There, okay. Let me...
Okay, no, that, that's another conversation. It's not here, and that's fine. You can project that. Okay, so I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Okay, so you can start, Irma. Irma and Claudia, I'm gonna help. Okay, you. I am here. Okay. I am so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you? Uh, we anything will listen on the internet. How about this? A door to door sales person to sell baby products. Like diapers and think? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good and selling. Selling, selling. Well, selling. Well, I am I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. <laughs> it's same here. You have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mean working long hours. If the pay is good, what's the phone number? And the number I cannot read. Mm, okay, so don't worry. That's not it. Five, 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 three, four, five, five. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, listen up. I'm gonna be checking some words. For example, um, let me see. It's that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I never been on a cruise ship. Um, that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. So I don't mind, or I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, volunteers. Volunteers. Two volunteers. Saul and. I can. Somebody else? Okay. Who's going to help me? Mm -hmm. So we're waiting for your classmates. Maybe Carlos? Carlos Alberto? Hello, Carlos? Hello. Okay, Carlos, please help us with the conversation. Okay, so you may start. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. Que casi no se define. Can you say it? no? So do I. So do I. You you see anything good? Listen on on the internet. Uh, how about this? A door to door. Sells person to sell baby products. Like like deeper and, and things. Diapers, diapers. I can novel diaper mm -hmm. and things. No, uh, no thanks. And <laughs> and anyway, creo I'm not. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here. Here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on, an, on a cruise ship. Cruise ship. On a cruise ship. Cruise, okay. cruise ship. That sounds like home. I like travel. And, and I've never been a... Uh, on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mean working long house. house in the in the pay that is good. 
What's the phone number? It's oh, I... mm, okay. Never mind. I can see. Oh my. Okay. Mm -hmm. Says this one says says it says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea, and this one long hours. I I don't mind mine. I don't mind. So I don't mind helping you guys. I don't mind. I don't mind working. I don't mind okay, traveling. Long hours, hours, long hours. Let's see, volunteers. I need two more volunteers. Let's see. Um, Me. Fernando, okay, Fernando, somebody else. Uh, Ruth, maybe, Ruth, you here? Yeah, maybe Ruth. Okay, let me see Fernando. I'm still looking for somebody. Um Okay, no problem. Um yeah, let's see. We have Isabo, Isabo, hi Elizabeth, Elizabeth Torres, Isabo. Okay, did you? Okay, go ahead. Uh, and Brad. Okay. Okay. I uh, I started. Yeah. Okay, um, let me see. I'm so broke. I really need a, to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listen on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like dippers and things. No diapers. things. Diapers and things, no things. Continue, continue. And anyway, I'm not good at ceiling. Well, I am. I need to check the one note. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. Okay. That sounds like fun. I like traveling. And I've never been uh, on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at, is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What the phone number? It's 555. Five, five. Three, four, five, five. Okay, good. Thanks, guys. Um, let me see. I heard the word. It was sounds. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Okay, and I don't remember. I think there was another one. Okay, selling, selling, selling. I'm not good at selling. I'm not good at. Uh, let's see. <laughs> selling. Okay, selling. Yes, one diapers, diapers. Uh huh, diapers. Yeah, like diapers. diapers and things. No, thanks, right? Yeah. Maybe you'd like it or not. Um. Okay. Let's see. Jacqueline, Rebecca, Sermeño. Jacqueline. Hi, Jackie. Do you want to help us, Jackie? And Juan Carlos, Maravilla. Juan Carlos. Hola. Okay, Jacqueline. Juan Carlos. Hi, teacher. Okay, help us guys with the conversation. Mm -hmm. Juan Carlos, start please. Okay. Dan, I show up. I really need to find a job. 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 So do I. Do you earn? No, no. Do you see anything? Good listening and the internet. Heard about this a uh, door to door sales person to sell baby products? Like diapers and things. Diapers. Not uh, diapers. No things. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Okay. Well, I am. I need to tell that one a lot. Oh, here's one for you. 
an assistant know. entertainment direct on a cruise, a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been <inaudible> on a cruise ship. 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 If say how you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. See ya. Uh, that's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the party is good, what the phone number? It's five 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 three four five five. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Um, might, uh, well, I am. I might, might, I might, 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 might. I might, I might do my homework. Um, forty percent. I might, I might do my homework. Probability. So I might check that one out. And assistant entertainment director in a cruise Teacher. ship. Oh yes. Bro, this one, one here. Uh, anything good list listed on oh, listed. The internet. Listed. listed 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 uh -huh. let's see i'm gonna play it so you can listen again so let me check listen and practice i'm so broke i really need to find a job so do i do you see anything good listed on the internet how about this Okay, so it's listed, it, listed. listed, listed, it, listed. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products, like diapers and things? No. Notice diapers, diapers. Thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Selling, 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 this one. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Might, might check that. Okay, I might check that that one out. That one, that one out. I might check that one out. That one again, so you can listen to that again. No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh. Okay, you got it. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. Here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment director. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here, you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the... F okay, I don't mind working long hours, hours hours if the pay is good what's the phone number let me see um who hasn't participated like, um i don't know marco marco are you too quiet today marco maybe yes okay, okay. and renee 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 giovanni hello giovanni you here hello mm -hmm. Colleen, Renee, okay. Renee Giovanni, not here. Okay, Raul. Hi, Raul. Come on, Raul. Help us. Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hi, Renee. Voy a manejar en este momento. Okay, got it, Renee. Understood. Okay, let me see. Uh, Ruth, you hear Ruth? Maybe Ruth. Maria Los Amaya. Okay, let's see. Volunteer. Who wants to talk with Marco? <laughs> Marco, say uh, yes. I'm trying to sell something. <laughs> okay, Saul. <laughs> okay, Saul, go ahead. Okay, may I start? 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything you listed on the internet? How about this? A door to door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good in I'm not good at selling. Well, I am I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here one for you, an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. Thanks, okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay is good, what's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, that's okay, uh, Saul, that's, that's okay. That's okay, I say that's okay. Okay, okay. good. Oh, got it, Ruth, got it, Ruth, thanks. Okay, let me see. We will continue. Uh, just let me um, share back again with you here. Phone number. It's 555-3455. Okay, so right now we're going to continue with the second part of the class, which is talking about, um, well, talking about uh, statements and how to make these statements with gerunds and giving sure responses. Let's see. So it's a short video, guys. Hates cooking. Their program and it's Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Okay, so as you can notice, we're going to be working with gerunds uh, and uh, with affirmative statements using gerunds and negative statements using gerunds. Um, the idea here is to combine these two things using gerunds after some verbs such as like, hey, and um, let's see, uh, good at, I'm good at. Um, and uh, we are, are going to uh, check how to show agreement or disagreement using sure answers. For example, I like traveling. So a way to show uh, that you agree with that person is saying so do I and we, we checked that in the previous conversation if you want to disagree you're going to be using oh or no I don't right um remember that whenever you're using any verb in the simple present you're going to be using so do I for example I hate working on weekends so do I so you show that you agree right so I hate working on weekends, so do I. I hate working on weekends. Disagree? Really? I like it. So you show the opposite, an opposite idea. 
So um, the opposite will be, I like working on weekends. Um, the next one, I'm good at using a computer. How do you show agreement? Look at this. In this case, you're using a verb to be, right? So in that case, we need to use a verb to be. So am I? I'm good at using a computer. So am I? So the difference between these two and this one is that for the third one, you're gonna be using, well, indeed you're using verb to be. So that's why you, uh, in the response or the sure answer, you're gonna be using am, um, so am I, or disagree, gee, I'm not. Well, gee is not necessary, right? And I'm not, right? To show your disagreement. But uh, we have the opposite. If you want to show a negative statement with gerunds, for example, I don't mind working long hours. I don't mind working long hours. Neither do I. In this case, we're going to be using neither or neither. So both of them, neither or neither. Uh, I don't mind working long hours. Neither do I. So you show a negative right answer. So if you want to agree with that person for that negative statement, we're going to be using neither. Neither do I. I don't mind working long hours. Neither do I. Well, I do. Okay. So I mind working long hours. So that's the opposite idea. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. Remember, in this case, we're using neither because we're talking about a negative statement. Okay, I'm not good at selling, neither am I. And remember that you have to modify the verb if, um, for example, you're using verb to be, but in the first case, in the first case, you're using, uh, let's say, a simple present tense form. So you're going to be using auxiliary do. Uh, I'm not good at selling, neither am I. Or disagreement. I am. So it means that you are good at selling if you disagree in a negative. I can't stand making mistake, neither can I. Besides that, we can also use different tenses. Example, in this case, you're using a model. I can't stand making mistake. Okay, no soporto cometer errores. I can't stand making mistake, neither can I. Fique que esto está de acuerdo. Tampoco yo. Tampoco puedo, yo, tampoco yo diré. Okay, and uh, if you show disagreement with that idea, with that negative idea, you're going to show, uh, you're going to say, I, I don't mind, okay? I don't mind making mistakes, so that's okay. So everybody makes mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, in order to discuss about this, first, we're going to be uh, breaking this class into uh, two parts. The first one is checking uh, verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Because if you notice, after some verbs, we use gerunds. For example, like, hey, and after some uh, prepositions, right? Like at, I like traveling, I hate working, and good at using. Uh, I don't mind the verb mind working. I'm not good at uh, purpose. Uh, that's a preposition, right? At selling. I can't stand making. Making. Teacher. Yes, tell me. A uh, question. Um, mm -hmm. The subject to be uh, in any, any of the subjects. Uh, to be you, they, no, just this, I. Oh, the things that you're talking in first person in this case, I like traveling, so do I. Um, That will change, that could change. So we're gonna be checking some examples, okay? For example, if, um, if you say, let's check the first one. I like traveling. So if I want to mention that, uh, let's say Marco likes traveling as well. So, comma, auxiliary, does, plus the pronoun that you're referring to. 
which is Marcos, right? So that's he, but this he is referring to Marcos. I like traveling, so do I. So that's he, right? Marco, so that's oh. he. Uh -huh. So okay. you have to modify the, the um, auxiliary verb and you have to modify the plana. Okay. Or if uh, you disagree, or you want to say that he disagrees, he um, he doesn't. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's the only thing that you have to do: modifying this auxiliary and the pronoun, or making the negative. He doesn't. Okay, let me see. So, um, well, as I was mentioning, we're gonna break the class into two parts. But we're going to finish the video. We're going to finish the video first. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today, we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have all the verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and Okay, so before continuing with that, we're going to be checking the examples. So we have some of, of the common verbs, right? Like, hey, lie, hate, good at, uh, mine, not good at, and stand. Mm, I'm going to show you here uh, the verbs which are followed by gerunds. Okay, so uh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be creating some examples as well. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so these are some of the verbs followed by gerunds. Acknowledge, admit, consider, explain, imagine, picture, understand, allow. She considered resigning. Can you imagine him being a president? Can you imagine him being a president? So there you have the gerund, right? Resigning and being, right? So let's see. Now, can you see that PPT, by the way? Full screen here. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, so here we, here we have some other verbs like discuss, explain, mention, propose, recommend, suggest, support, and urge. Let's see. For example, can help, forgive, regret, regret. I mean, so what is the meaning for can help? Any idea? What is that? What is can help? No poder ayudar. Mm, okay. So any other idea? So can help means no puedo evitar. Um, okay. No puedo evitar. So that's the meaning. Not literally, right? But you, of course, you can say, I can help. But in this case, no puedo evitar. I can help, um, let's say, um, talking with him, for example. I can help talking with him. So it would be a, a bad example, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Look at this. Uh, here we have some more. Uh, attempt, feel like, and try. I feel like swimming. Nothing shall prevent us from reaching our aim. Avoid, delay, escape, miss, postpone, prevent, and resist. So I know that in the video, there are just a few 
examples, but there are some more verbs. And how do we know how to use them? Well, in this case, we have to, let's say, uh, study them in context. So we're gonna be checking uh, examples. Appreciate, be worth, enjoy, fancy, like, love, prefer, approve of, can bear, can stand, detest, dislike, dread, hate, disapprove. These are some um, other verbs, right? So positive and negative ideas. Let's see. Uh, now we're going to be trying to create some examples. Prohibit. His behavior allows of interpreting the facts in two different ways. Let us not allow fishing here. Visitors are prohibited from feeding the animals. My mother prohibits me from going out with friends on school nights. Besides uh, some verbs, we also have some prepositions, right? So after some preposition, after prepositions, we're going to be using a germ, right? Of a lot of interpreting, prohibited from um, feeding animals, prohibits me from going out. Um. Okay. There we have some more. Begin, start, continue, go on, keep, discontinue, finish, give up, and quit. Okay. Maybe I'm going to try to send you that examples, that, well, that verbs, uh, just for you to check um, what are some more verbs that you can also use, right? So now we can continue with our next part, which is uh, basically talking about the short answers. Okay, so we go back to the video. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds, love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject, and when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, so there you have some of the verbs that we uh, were checking. Uh, like admit, advise, appreciate, avoid, begin, complete, consider, deny, discuss, forget, keep, miss, postpone, prefer, quit, recommend, regret, and suggest. And as she was mentioning, we're going to be using so in order to agree with a positive statement. For example, I need to find a job, so do I. I need to exercise, I need to work out. So what would be your answer if you want to agree with it? somebody? Okay. I need to work out, for example. So what would you say? So, so do I. So that's the, the answer. If you have a negative statement, you're going to be using neither do I, right? Uh, I don't lie, for example, working on 
on Saturday. Okay, so I don't like working on Saturday. Neither or neither do I. So that's the way how you're going to be using these, uh, let's say, positive uh, short answers and negative short answers with uh, positive or negative statements. So now let's, let's check a negative some statement. examples. Okay, so let me know if you can see the examples. Agree with positive and negative statements, guys. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. So uh, at the beginning of the well, during the video, I was telling you that you have to use auxiliary do right in the simple present tense. But besides that, you can also use a uh, modal if you're using modal statements, uh, sentences with uh, let's say with modal. If you're using have got, which is a perfect tense, if you're using a perfect tense, we have to use have in this case. If you're using a past tense, we have to use was. It pass with verb to be, right? If you're using a past simple with the rest of the verse, we use did. For example, I like chocolate. Can you read the answer, uh, Saul? I like chocolate, which is uh, an answer to show agreement. So, so do I. So do I. But if you disagree with my opinion, you can say, I don't. I. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I like chocolate. Me gusta el chocolate. A mí también. Pero si alguien me quiere decir, a mí no, I don't. Okay. I can speak French. So, which is the answer, Marco? I can speak French. So can I. So can I, which could be the opposite. I, I can't. I got a dog. So, which is the answer? Mm, let me see. Anybody else? Claudia, or maybe, yeah. I haven't. Okay, excellent. Good. I haven't. Okay, so I got a dog. So have I? I haven't. So in order to show the opposite idea, right? I wasn't late. Neither was I. Or neither was I. Okay. Yo no llegué tarde. Neither was I. Yo tampoco. So how will you say the opposite? I was late, right? I was late. Okay. Um, I didn't hear. No escuché. Neither did I. Yo tampoco escuché. The opposite. So it could be, it could be, this. It, it could be a possible answer. I did, I did here. So let's see, let's continue with uh, some more. Okay, so what will you say? How will you answer? I'm English. I'm English. Try to give me a short answer. I'm English. So do I. Mm, look at the verb. It's verb to be. I am. So. Uh-huh. So, am I. Am I. So am I. Okay. So am I. So am I. I'm not French. Negative. This is a negative. I'm not French. Neither am I. Okay. Neither am I. Okay. Neither am I. Good. Remember, when you have negatives, so you answer with neither, neither am I. I can swim. I can't. Huh? I can swim? 
So, modal plus. I? Uh huh. So can I? I can speak German. I can speak German. What do you think? Remember, for the negative, we use neither. Neither can I. Okay, neither can I. Okay, excellent. Good job. Neither can I. I live in Paris. In Paris. I live in Paris. How do I? Excellent, Claudia. So do I. I don't live in London. I don't live in London. What do you think? You can open your microphone, so don't worry. I don't live in London. Neither do I. Neither do I, right? So what we need to know in here is the usage of the, let's say the, the tenses. I'm going to town. I'm going to town. So am I. So am I. So am I. Excellent, good. So am I, because you're using um present, uh, let's say you're using very to be first. So am I. Okay, I'm not going to watch television. What do you think? I'm not going to watch television. Neither. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither am I. I like playing tennis. Positive answer, positive answer. So do I. So do I. So do I. I don't like playing golf. Neither. Neither do I. Neither do I, okay. I was tired after the party. Marco, anybody? Claudia? What, wasn't. I was tired after the party. So was I. Mm -hmm. So was I. Remember that the tense has changed, so you have to modify the verb. I was tired after the party. So was I. Okay, I wasn't pleased with Sally. Neither. Neither was, wasn't I. Mm, okay, was neither, I. neither was I. Uh -huh, because you already have the negative. Neither was I. Neither was I. Okay. I had coffee for breakfast. So do I. Mm, okay. So do so, I. Did I. Uh -huh, because the sentence is in the past. I had coffee for breakfast. So did I. I had an exam yesterday. Yo también. So did I. So did I. And the common answer is saying me too, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I didn't do my homework yesterday. Negative. Negative. Neither, neither, neither did I. Did I. Neither, okay. Neither or neither, neither did I. Neither. Okay. Uh -huh. So, well, some people say neither, some people say neither. So, that's just a matter of pronunciation. Okay, I went to the cinema on Saturday. What do you think? So, when I. Mm -hmm. Think about it again. So this this is a sentence in the simple past. I went to the cinema on Saturday. Simple past. The auxiliary for the simple past. So did I. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna if you're using simple past, you have to use the auxiliary for the simple past. Did right. So did I. It doesn't matter if the verb is when, if the verb is did, if the verb is made, if the verb is 
let's say is left. So you're going to be using auxiliary did in the past, right? I'm doing my homework after supper, after supper, after dinner. So that's supper. So, so am I. Mm -hmm. So am I. Uh, let me see. I'm not watching television tonight, Marco. What are you doing tonight, Marco? I'm not watching television tonight. You? Neither. Neither am I. Neither am I. Okay. Okay. So we have a. Okay. So um, you have a challenge here. I'll go to the beach tomorrow if it's fine. What do you think about that sentence? So how will you answer? Giving uh, giving a short answer. I go to the beach tomorrow if it's fine. It's future so, tense, right? Yeah. So Which is I, the auxiliary yeah. for uh, future auxiliary. Which is the auxiliary verb when we use future simple? So will I. So will I. Excellent, Carlos. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, so will I. Okay, so we have ir a la playa mañana. If it's fine. Está bien. Maybe that weather. Yo también. <laughs> okay, so will I. Mire. Uh, I won't be home until late this evening. What do you think? Remember, neither. So did, did I. Yeah. Mm, future, that's future tense. I won't be home until late this evening. That's future. Want a clue? Neither. Will I remember? Even though it's a negative statement, you will use uh, uh, will. Okay, neither for the negative and will the auxiliary. Even though it's a negative. Okay, so neither plus will plus the subject. Neither will I. Okay, and let me see. I think we're gonna finish with this one. I think we we have taken some more minutes. Okay, I travel around the world if I had a lot of money. Mm, what do you think? Which is this tense? Oh, what are we using in here? I travel around the world if I had a lot of money. I travel around the world if I had a lot of money. So I would. Oh, you almost got it. Somebody almost got it. I would travel around the world if I had a lot of money. So, would I? So, it means that you're going to be modifying the auxiliary. Quiere decir que lo que único vamos haciendo es modificando el auxiliar. So, would I? Okay. And how about negative? El negativo, I wouldn't like to be a doctor. Neither auxiliary. Yeah. Wouldn't. Neither. And <laughs> Saul. Did. Uh-huh. Neither will, neither will I. Neither would I. Well, you I. get it. Mm -hmm. So, and this is going to happen with all tenses. Y esto va pasando con todos los tiempos. So, um, and I think that was the last, uh, let me see. Okay, so we'll continue tomorrow with some more examples. So, yeah, I think I took some more minutes. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to pass attendance list. Mm, just, uh, well, say present, guys. Say present. Let me see. This is intermediate too, right? Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present. Thanks, Carlos. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Irma Jackie Manzano de Rivas. My God. Present teacher. No, Esmeralda. 
Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Irma le contestó, Tito. Okay, Isabel, okay, yeah. Elizabeth Torres, Isabo. Present teacher. Okay, so Isabo sounds like Isabella. <laughs> Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Jacqueline, not here. Um, Jacqueline Rebecca Sarmeño. Present teacher. Thanks, Jacqueline. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vasquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vasquez. Not here. Okay. Juan Carlos Cubilla Bonilla. Present teacher. Thanks, Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Carlita, Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando. Ok, Luis, thanks. Marco Antonio Quijano Aguizábal. Present. Thanks, Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present. Thanks. And René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Ruth María Los Amaya de Guarnado. Saúl Alexander Lozono Calderón. Ok. Thanks. Ahí está Ruth Marielo, fíjese. Está, ¿Cómo está trabajando? Sí, sí, me comentó que no podía ahorita. Ok. Uh, solamente René sí, Chupar. Me tomó asistencia. Um, Repítame su nombre. Me falló el micrófono en ese momento. Um, ¿Cuál es su nombre? Carla Vigail. Ah, Carlita, sí, eso estaba pensando. Sí. Ok, listo. Carla Vigail Aguilar. Listo. Ok, thanks guys. Thanks. That's all for it today. Uh, let me know if you have any question. You can stay, uh, stay. I mean, okay, guys. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. We have a class tomorrow at nine. See you here. Bye. 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 Mañana viernes, teacher. Yes, we have a class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, Claudia. Good, Good, night. Night. Good, night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Take care. Thank you, teacher. En ese momento estaba. Irma, ok, ahorita reviso Irma. Solo déjenme abrirlo de nuevo. Ok. Esta no es. Ahorita voy a ir. Irma. Yo creo que sí, Irma. Sí, usted siempre está acá. Ok, listo, Irma. Ahí está. Ya lo, ya lo verifique, está bien. Ok, um, Carlos, Alberto, Juan Carlos, questions, Saúl, Juan Carlos, uh, Saúl, questions? How's your life And now? No question, teacher. Goodbye. Ah. Ok. Bye bye, Carlitos. Thank you. And you, Saúl, any question? No, teacher. Thank you very much. No? Okay. Okay, got it. Thanks, Saul. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.